Very good evening, friends. So I hope you're all doing safe as well as healthy. Well, in this particular month, I have started off with the series on India 7 that talks about cash flow statement. In the previous video, I had given you the insights in terms of distinguishing that there are three kinds of activities. One is what you call operating activities, investing activities, and the financing activity. We also identified that when you're looking at operating activities, anything which is linked to the business operation is operating in nature. Similarly, anything which relates to, you can say the fixed assets, or I would say the PPE, intangible assets, or the investments in the company is investing in nature. And if you're looking at anything linked to the debt equity financing of the company is financing activity in nature. Let me also remind you that when you're looking in terms of identifying the various activities in making the cash flow statement, we would consider only the inflows and outflows of cash. If there are any movements which are non-cash in nature, they would definitely not appear in the cash flow statement. I think in this video, what we want to do, we just want to look at a few examples where we could decide you know, whether the given transaction is operating, investing or financing in nature. Let's take these examples with you and understand more as far as the classifications of the activities are concerned. There is operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. 14th, 15th, or 16th March. Yadi aap apni subscription plan kar rahe hai an academy par, to this is a good time. Kyuke 14 se leke 16 March tak an academy ki sabhi subscriptions par aapko milega 20% flat discount. Iske liye aapko ek code istamal karna hoga aur code hai CAKB10. Lagayenge 10, milega 20. To CA final ki agar aap subscriptions plan kar rahe hai to description box mein aapko link milenge. Kyunki prices jald bandne wali hai to aap apni planning kar lije और अपने प्लानिंग के साथ 20% डिस्काउंट अवेल कर लीजिए कोड लगाना है सीए के भी 10 और मिलेगा आपको 20 तो 16th मार्च रात को 12 बजे से पहले पहले तो किस बात का इंतजार है आइए लेट्स क्रैक इट वेल आई हैव टेकन अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स एंड आई गेस डोंट लुक एट द आंसर्स बिकॉज़ द आंसर्स आर आल्सो गिवन यू वी कुड लुक एट दिस वीडियो मोर लाइक अ क्विज where you are given a certain inputs and you decide whether it is to be reflected in the cash flow statement, number one, and is it going to be investing, financing, or operating in nature. There is a depreciation on the furniture of sales showroom. Now, when you're looking at a depreciation, undoubtedly we know it's a non-cash expenditure. And if it's a non-cash item, it would not appear in the cash flow statement at all. There is no question of you know, what kind of activity it is. Then there is an advance which is received from the customer now, as a part of the day-to-day -day business. Naturally, there could be advance given to the suppliers. There could be advance received from the customers. So it is certainly related to the operations of the business. And if it is related to the operations of the business, it becomes operating activity. It's an inflow relating to operating activity. If there is any sales tax, now we know that there is no sales tax and excise duty, but let's say if there is a GST payment, can I say that is also linked to the operations of the business, so that would also be something operating activity, it becomes a cash outflow on account of operating activities. Let's take some more examples. Let's say a company makes a purchase of shares in a 100% subsidiary, and this is for opening a branch in Abu Dhabi, well, in this particular case, it is related to investments. Now, it doesn't make a difference, you know, whether this investment is in a related or unrelated party. So, this would be investing activity related to the investments. Now, let's say there is a company which is, you know, new cars are purchased from Honda dealer in exchange of old cars. I'm not saying that I am a dealer in cars. I might be into some of the business, but what I'm doing, I'm going to make a purchase of a new car in exchange for an old car. So this is going to be investing activity related to PPE. 
Let's say, for example, if there is a provident fund which is paid for the employees of the company. Now, as far as the employees are concerned, they are related to the operations of the business. So any salaries, including the provident fund, whatever is the cost to the company, that's going to be considered as a part of the operating activities. But let's imagine to the employees you've issued ESOP employee stock option plans and there is no cash movement as far as the issue of ESOP is concerned. So in this particular case, since there is no cash flow movement, it would not be reflected in the cash flow statement. Now let's consider that there has been a business acquisition, a business combination resulting in a goodwill, which is of course an purchase goodwill. Now since it's a part of the acquisition of the investment, this becomes investing activity in nature. Let's say we acquired the assets of the company and the consideration is paid by way of issue of equity shares. Well, in this particular case, there is no movement in terms of cash flow, so it would not be reflected in the cash flow statement. Let's say we've got some interim dividends which we have paid. So interim dividends are paid. So any kind of debt equity financing is financing activity. So any kind of dividends or interest paid would also be considered to be the financing activities but we'll talk a little more in terms of interest and dividends in the next video that what is the treatment of interest and dividend received, interest and dividends paid, especially when it becomes a financing or a non-financing entities. And then let's say there is 100% of the subsidy is dissolved. You basically sold off the dissolve, dissolve the entire subsidy and the amount is received in full and final settlement. So when you made an investment in the subsidy, it was investing. And if you go to dissolve and get money, that also becomes an inflow arising out of investing activities. Well, what I've done, I've not taken some very basic examples. I've taken some kind of examples, you know, where, you know, one would think a little, though I think understanding that which activity does a transaction belong to is not a very big challenge. In the next video, what we're going to do, we're going to make a summary chart and understand the treatment of interest, dividend, paid, received, financing, non-financing activities, all the permutation combinations in that case. Well, that's all in this particular video. Wait for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and take care.